It's week 10 of the NFL, and this one features the Saints' rookie quarterback. He got his reps in a week ago, over 400 yards through the air. It's the Saints and the Falcons, and it's coming up next on EA Sports. Welcome in, everyone, to this presentation. So the Saints, ready to go to work on offense for the first time. They're let out by the rookie quarterback, the young man from the University of Michigan. You know you have a good week, Mike, when it takes all five fingers on one hand just to show how many touchdowns you threw in last week's win. Now, do we expect him to do that two weeks in a row? I'm not sure that's realistic, but as long as he continues to operate at this high of a level, they're going to have a strong chance to win every single week. And he's going to be taken down to 37. You can see here, Mike, the impact that sending your receivers deep does to the defense. You add so many layers, and the defense has to get so much depth in their pass coverage, it leaves a lot of room underneath, and that's exactly what the quarterback takes advantage, tucks the ball down, turns into a runner, picks up the first down. And he will go all the way. DeJuan Johnson, touchdown six. What a luxury to have in an offense, a tight end who can take it down the field like that and take it the distance. Shades of Greg Olson back in the day. Well, I appreciate that, Mike, but I think it's clear by now that we all know what's the most impactful position on offense. It's the tight end. And when you have a guy like this who can not only make those difficult catches underneath, but who can get down the field for these big plays, man, you got yourselves a weapon. offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession and as we move into the second half of the season he continues to put up the big numbers currently the NFL's leader in passing as we play here in the month of November right away they'll set up to throw he'll be hit as he throws and that one will wind up incomplete could not step into the throw that time it'll bring up second down back to throw and open downfield it's Johnson and he will take this one in 79 yards touchdown New Orleans what an opening quarter he is having. Greg, that is two touchdown receptions here in the first quarter. Mike, all this guy has to do is keep this pace up, and he's going to have himself eight touchdowns. But in all seriousness, <laughs> if I'm this quarterback, I'm not looking anywhere else until this defense proves they have an answer. Because right now, they don't have one. Saints offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle, that's the tight end, Johnson. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. One quarter in the books. 14-7 is our score. More from New Orleans after this. Here's second and two. They'll look to throw. He keeps it himself. Ooh. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. There was a lot of questions surrounding this quarterback about whether his style of play from college would transfer to the NFL game. Well, his ability to create with his legs certainly has here today. We see it with his ability to escape pressure out of the pocket, 
and he's able to pick up the first down. They'll come up here first and 10. First carry now for Alvin Kamara. There he goes, inside the 30. And he's going to be out of bounds, but they're going to mark him inside the 10-yard line. That is a big gainer for the Saints. It's a gain of 34. Now a chance to pay off that big play. They have it first and goal. They'll run here with Kamara. Down to the goal line. No signal. Is he in? They'll say it did not break the play, but a real solid gain on first and goal. Now here's second and goal. Now this time they'll look to throw. A good blocking and he's in. Touchdown, New Orleans. Initially looking to throw it for the touchdown, couldn't find anything. So Brady takes care of business himself, using his legs for the touchdown. Well, it was clear early on, Mike, that this defense was expecting the pass. And after matching all the receivers in the end zone, this quarterback realized quickly it was his legs that he was going to need to rely on to get the ball across the goal line. offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more remember he had a touchdown on the ground earlier something he's been able to do frequently this season as you see where he ranks among NFL quarterbacks in rushing TDs back to throw here to begin the drop he's going to keep it himself and it'll be taken down as he takes it just shy of midfield. They'll stop it here. We have an injured Saint on the play. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. To the air now, on first and ten. Brought in by Chris Olave. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and 10. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? That is a gain of 20. And what a chance now. First and goal coming up. So, two minutes to play in a back and forth first half. We're back to New Orleans after this. Well, here's the chance to cap off a great half. They have it first and goal. And that's going to wind up uncatchable out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Alvin Kamara that time. And it'll bring up second and goal. He'll drop to throw. He's going to run. And he's in. Touchdown, Saints. And that is now a pair of rushing touchdowns. The quarterback giving it to them, Greg, with his legs in this one. And we're starting to see, Mike, why this week this coaching staff told us they're encouraging this guy to do this more often. His ability to be a passer but also a rusher is an element to this offense that is hard for defenses to account for.
So now, out comes the offense, led by their quarterback as they take over once again. And this defense has to be searching for answers right now. It's been his ability to make plays on the ground here in the first half that has really given them fits. Now they'll set up to throw. Now he'll run. <laughs> and they will finally track him down inside the 40-yard line. The key coming into the game anytime you're about to defend a quarterback like this is it's not so much about rushing the quarterback for a sack as much as it is about rushing the quarterback to keep him in the pocket. He is more dangerous when he's able to escape. Keep the integrity of your rush lanes. Rush as a unit. You can see here, when you don't, he gets out of the pocket, and it's a big play. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender, and you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete, but if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. And they'll finally run him down, but he takes it inside the 10-yard line. This defense is going to have to come up with some answers at halftime because they cannot allow this quarterback to just continue to have his way with them on the ground using his legs. And that's exactly what's happened so far here in the first half. And they're going to have to get that fixed and fixed quickly. So the big play changes the complexion of things. It's first and goal now from just inside the 10-yard line. He's got it at the three. And he's going to be down close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. From the two now, here's second and goal. Kamara going to try to bull his way in. And he will fight his way to the end zone. Alvin Kamara. season this defense continuing to give up points greg you've been on offenses like this this has to feel great when you're on a roll like this and it's really twofold mike first and foremost just like you said every first down they'll start out with Kamara just refusing to go down he winds up with a gain of seven here's a second and three fourth coming he'll look to throw and he just does get that one chase down force the awkward throw Maybe he's fortunate that all it is is an incompletion. Third down, three to go. From out of the gun, he'll throw. He's got his man complete to Johnson. And he's into the end zone yet again. Jawan Johnson, touchdown six. That is his third touchdown of the afternoon. Third down. My focus, Greg, was on picking up the first down. Forget that. They go down the field and in the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah, and I don't think it was just your focus, Mike. I think in this case, it was the defense's focus. They're so worried about where that first down marker was that they allowed them to get that ball up and over the top for the deep strike touchdown. Throwing now on first and ten. He lets one go. Looking for Shaheed. 
And the Falcons are going to take over once again at their 37-yard line. I think you chalk this one up, Mike, to just a rookie mistake. And anytime you have a young signal caller behind center, you're going to have to deal with some of these ups and downs. Every once in a while, they're just not going to see the coverage. They're going to get baited into making a bad throw. That's kind of par for the course. They'll look to throw here on first down. He's going to look downfield once again. And he's going to be marked down, bringing it all the way to the 25-yard line. Well, they had such a great first half throwing the football. There's no reason to think, Mike, coming out here for the start of the third, that anything's going to change. He's picked up right where he left off, and the numbers are indicative of just how well he's played. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. A shotgun snap. He'll look to throw. A throw on the move is caught. Out of bounds, but in business. They mark him down near the two. Terrific day throwing the ball, and the numbers now show it. Over 300 yards passing in this one. A couple of big plays, one after the other, and now it's first and goal. And he will score again. Touchdown, New Orleans. Rushing touchdown number 28 on the year. A remarkable number. On first and 10, Bill set up to throw. He lets one go, looking for Shaheed. And he's going to take this one all the way. 82 yards. Touchdown, New Orleans. They continue to end. Point, Greg, very interesting here. They are just rolling up the score even though we're in the fourth. No doubt, Mike. I mean, this offensive play caller has no let up. I mean, he's going to see how many points can I put on this scoreboard before that clock runs out. Throwing now from the gun. He's going to dial up another deep ball. And the Falcons are going to get this back at their own 34-yard line. This is something we see so often out of these young quarterbacks, Mike, is their inability to manipulate the defense. They kind of telegraph where they're going to go with their ball, with their eyes. And I'd love to see him the next time when he gets to the top of his drop look off the safety, hold some of the underneath defenders from where you ultimately know you want to go with the ball. A lot of that just comes with experience, and sometimes you got to gain that experience the hard way. Here comes the Atlanta offense now. They get set to take over once more. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down.
He's going to try it here again. To the 20. And they are not going to catch up to him. He will score. 74 yards. Touchdown, New Orleans. We might need a calculator before this one is done. It has been one-sided, and the route rolls on, Greg. Absolutely, Mike. And they just keep piling on the points. I mean, this offensive play caller, he's saying, it's never enough. I'm going to try to score with every possession, and we've seen him do that all game. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. Again, working deep downfield. Still going! And he will take this one in. 80 yards. Touchdown, New Orleans. Greg in the end zone again. I I'm running out of different ways to say touchdown. They're doing it so often here today. Mike, some offensive play callers, once they get the lead, it's just milk the clock and let's get out with the win. But not this coach. He is trying to score every single time they possess the ball. one a win for the Saints this one came down to the final play the defense was able to hold on they're gonna walk out of here with a slip one score victory